Okay, my name is Trevor Steele. I'm gonna make a short video going over this one big thing that I see that a lot of new pilots mistake or make um, that I would love for them to stop doing because it makes a big effect. So, when you're going to launch your paramotor, you obviously take off running. Well, when you take off running like this guy right here, what happens to your glider? Well, originally, it falls behind you like this. Because all of a sudden you're forcing it this way, it goes, whoa, it's back here when you're up here. Then it shoots forward like this. If the pilot is only running forward and does nothing with his brakes, the glider could shoot forward and collapse onto the pilot. This right here, when it collapses, is how you break equipment, it's how you break gliders, it's how you spend a lot of money on repairs. Now, if it doesn't collapse, what happens is it often completely unloads. It hits this point right here where it's completely unloaded. All of the weight is on the pilot down here. The paramotor's weight all hits the pilot, which when you're watching videos of people launch, this point right here is when all of a sudden the pilot kind of sinks down or gets slammed with weight and all of a sudden has to run so much faster and the glider looks like it's directly above them and like it's gonna collapse. Now, if you watch an experienced pilot launch, they never have the glider enter this zone right here. They keep the glider in this zone right here. This zone, which is behind the pilot ever so slightly, is where the most lift is produced. If you keep the glider within this zone right here, you can launch faster. You don't have to worry about running with all of the weight on your back like you do if it shoots forward and overflies you. You don't have to worry about it collapsing in on you and breaking lines or shredding the entire glider, which is absolutely no fun. So how do you keep it in this little area right here? Well, it's extremely simple and it's not necessarily easy. It kind of boils down to your understanding of glider control. Mostly, it is just altitude control. Altitude, uh, altitude control. As the glider starts to lift the weight off of you, when it slings back this way, the weight of the motor is getting lifted off of your back. It's because the glider is falling behind you, hence lifting the weight. As it starts to do that, the pilot's hand should go up, accelerating that glider. That will bring the glider back this way. Now, as the weight starts to fall onto the pilot like that, the pilot's hand should go down. It is this kind of back and forth motion where you fly the glider. Here's the pilot right here. Where you fly the glider in between this section right here where all the lift is produced. It starts to fall back. The weight gets super lifted off of you. Your hands go up. It starts to fall come forward where the weight kind of gets hit on you. Your hands go down and you fly it in this little area. That makes your launches one, faster, two, easier, and three, safer. And four, you look cool. Boom. I don't think anyone can read that. But there we go. That's my take number 15 because I've gotten phone calls and dropped them up. Anyways.